Hey guys, welcome to Desk Jockey Physio, where we help active desk folks feel and move better. My name is Mitch Darkman. I'm an F-Camped registered physiotherapist and sports medicine clinic owner here in Toronto. Thanks for stopping by. Hey everyone, two quick updates before we jump into today's video. Number one, we have a free giveaway today. If you head over to deskjockeyphysio.com guide, you can download your five-step guide of how to set up the perfect laptop home office, which you can do right here, okay? And number two, we are now offering online physiotherapy sessions for you folks out there. To learn more about that, head over to deskjockeyphysio.com online, and we'll see you there. All right, otherwise, enjoy the video, guys. Thanks for watching. All right, we're talking today about what is forward head posture. So this term gets thrown around a lot. You have forward head posture, forward cross syndrome, all these things are kind of in the same circle of conditions. And all that really means, if I'm being really simple about it, is your ear is further forward than your shoulders in relation to your spine. So what I mean by that is a lot of people, and this is kind of our modern day human posture and positioning. And what happens with this is because my shoulders are tilted a little bit forward, and my head is a little bit forward into my devices or just kind of my everyday life, that creates this forward head position where my head comes forward against my shoulders. Now for some folks, their shoulders round forward at the same time. So shoulders come forward, head comes forward. It doesn't actually look that, that bad. But if I actually bring my shoulders back in line with my spine, you can see I'm quite a bit more forward than this. Now, people kind of think, well, what's the big deal, right? Now, if I just sort of, I'm kind of sitting in this position and I go ahead and slump a bit and kind of move into just a little bit of a forward head position. If I go and stand up, what happens here is my neck is actually stuck in this extended or kind of rotated back position, but my neck isn't moving. So when I sit, it looks straight. When I stand, it's hinged up towards the sky. So what's actually happening is in your, when you're in that seated position, you're, you're actually kind of extending or compressing the vertebrae in the back of the spine. So when you ask what the question, the question of what is forward head posture, well, it's that head coming forward, but more importantly, is the ramification that has downstream. So when your neck comes forward, what actually happens is you add more compression to the joints in the back of the neck. The muscles have to work a heck of a lot harder, and over time, what they actually end up doing is laying down fatty tissue inside those muscles, so they actually get weaker because they lay down those t tissues, try to stiffen that area as best as possible to not do work. Your body's smart. Right? And, and the third thing it does is actually puts more stress and strain on nerves. So a lot of times forward head posture can lend itself to things like carpal tunnel syndrome, which we have a whole series on if you'd like, you can ask us about. It can also lend itself to, uh, to things like tennis elbow. They can be a nerve related things, as well as tingling into the fingers uh, and pinky kind of numbness in the mornings as well. So all these things downstream can actually come from this forward head posture. So at the end of the day, what is it? It's the head moving forward in relation to the spine. Why is that important? Well, it's going to compress the joints. It's going to add more load and eventually lead to weakness of the muscles. And it's going to add more strain to the nerves. Those top three things. So if you want to know how to fix this, we have a video next coming up on some easy ways to fix it. We're also eventually hopefully going to come out with a program for this as well. So stay tuned for that in the links below as well. Um, if you do have any questions, please leave them below. Go ahead and smash that like button. We appreciate it. Uh, subscribe to the channel. We have more content coming out for our desk folks and desk jockeys out there. And of course, move like you mean it. Thanks a lot.